Walker's Wild. And now, here's the host of our show, Jack Barry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for welcome once again to the Joker's Wild. On our last plug, we crowned a brand new champion. He won $1,050. Time ran out before we had a chance to spin against the devil. We're going to do that right now as Jay Stewart reintroduces the current champion. Jack, our career champion has winnings a total $1,050 in cash. He's a production control manager. His name is Hal Shear. Hal, nice to have you back on the program. Thank you, Jack. You won $1,050. Nice display of knowledge. And in a second, you're going to play against the devil. I noticed that we both decided to wear stripes today. <laughs> well, I don't know if they're uh, exactly alike. <laughs> No, yours might be a little I would louder. say that yours are a little, little more definite than mine. As a matter of fact, I could uh, come over there and play tic-tac-toe on <laughs> your, which is a very good game, too. All right, uh, I now invite you to try to win some money from the devil. Come on over. And now you see him in his full beauty. I didn't know that those stripes ran all the way down. All the way down. Somebody said they think I stole this from Nathan Detroit, but I want to, I disavow any, any knowledge of that. Well, I want to tell you something. You don't care what anybody says. You go ahead and wear it. It's all right. It's a lovely looking suit. And up on the wheels now, we have somebody who looks even worse, the devil. You're going to try to avoid him. And if you can avoid that devil and get to $1,000 or more, not only will you get the money, but you will get in these windows next to us here, these gifts. Hal, it's the Joker's Wild Home Fun Package. First, quench your thirst with this beer dispenser. Enjoy the fresh goodness of draft beer anytime from a Marvel draft beer dispenser. Marvel, a product of Dayton Walter Corporation. And pour that beer in these German steins. From the Tinderbox, the country's largest chain of pipe and tobacco shops, six German regimental steins in fine porcelain with pewter tops, designed from the late 1800s, furnished by the Tinderbox. And next for your car convenience, the touch-and-go automatic garage door opener system from the Overhead Door Corporation. Provides security and convenience at the touch of a button furnished by Overhead Door Corporation. And you'll be a real handyman with this home workshop. The Unimat 3, an entire home workshop in one versatile power tool. It's a lathe, saw, drill, press, grinder, polisher, does just about anything with wood or metal. Unimat 3. And next, stay in shape with Marcy's Mach 1, this handsome exercise unit. Complete with tummy trimmer bench, it's the perfect beginning to a space-saving home fitness program. From Marcy Fitness Products, Glendale, California. So, Hal, after a workout, relax with this outdoor furniture. Samsonite Body Glove Outdoor Furniture. Cool, comfortable, and contemporary. That's the irresistible appeal of this carefree furniture that fits your body like a glove. Body Glove from Samsonite. And, Hal, this home fun package is worth over. $3,700 in cash and prices. Before we start spinning, just one question, Hal. You know, I have a lot of lucky little things. I, I have a little ring I wear when I want to have some luck. Is this by any chance your lucky suit? Uh, no, but it could be. Uh, we'll have to wait and see after we go. Let's find out. Give him a spin. Okay, come on. Big money. No <laughs> you have 25, 25. Ah! How do you like that? You got three of a kind, and on this show, if you get three of a kind, you automatically go to $1,000. And so let me give you your money. First of all, it's 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, plus the beer dispenser and the signs, the garage door opener, the workshop, the gym equipment, the outdoor furniture, all told $3,700 worth of prizes. You are now winning in your two games a grand total of $4,750. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Thank you, Jeff. We'll give you and your lucky suit a chance to run those winnings up right after these words. That is your lucky suit. Luck. Hal Shear has won two games. He needs three more to get this handsome gift. It's a brand new car! The Buick Skylark with high energy ignition and powered by the economical, even firing V6 engine. For efficient and optimum fuel economy, it's the Buick Skylark. And from Pestone to Antifreeze, the Pestone professional type coolant tester enables quick and easy test of antifreeze protection and inspection for rust and sediment. Okay, Jack Berry. In game number three, how sheer will face this challenge. 
We have now a teacher whose hobbies are crafts and photography. Meet Carolyn Coltai. Hi, Carolyn. Hi. Tell us a little bit about your craft. I sew large animals. You sew large animals? Yes, I do. Animals that are six feet tall. Lions and alligators and crocodiles. And I sell them in various stores in California. And so I guess you could say, Jack, that I sew and sell. Oh, you were so and so. Yes. So on this program, we show and tell. <laughs> we show you the questions, and you give us, tell us the answers. I hope I know them. <laughs> but I thought you were a teacher. Well, I am. What do you teach? I teach elementary school. Very good. Pleased to have you here on the program, Caroline. Thank you. Now, Caroline, take a look behind me at the categories. They are A to Z, this category in which we give you the first letter of the answer, A to Z. Famous pairs, then followed by What's Their Line, U.S. Constitution. And I guess I missed one along the way someplace. Which one did I miss? I missed uh, France and France, the category I missed because I was talking too much. All right, Carolyn, your spin. Good luck. Okay. What's their line? A joker and U.S. Constitution. I'll take what's their line for 100, Jack. During the late 60s, the name of William C. Westmoreland was in the newspaper almost every week. What was his line of work? Oh, um, with, with the armed services. Uh, I'll accept that, yes. He was the United States military commander in Vietnam. And you have $100 in your third game, Hal Shearer. Good luck. Okay, let's jokers. Come on, jokers. What's their line? U.S. Constitution and a pair. Uh, let's try U.S. Constitution for 100, Jack. In 1787, the Constitution of the United States was signed. In which city did this historic event take place? That was in Philadelphia, yes, Pennsylvania. It was indeed. It's a tie game at 100 apiece. Your spin, Carolyn. A to Z, a pair, and a triple. I'll put A to Z for um, 200, Jack. Okay. Your letter is W. Since 1972, this Austrian has served as Secretary General of the United Nations. For 200 big ones, beginning with W, what is his last name? I don't know. I really don't. Sorry. You'll pick up $200 if you can tell me how. Kurt Waldheim. Waldheim is right. You go to $300. And it's your spin. Okay, come on, let's see some jokers. A to Z, U.S. Constitution, famous pairs. Uh, let's try, I like, like to try famous pairs for 50 gems. This composer lyricist team was responsible for such hits as Alfie and Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. One half is Hal David, named the other half. Burt Backrack. Correct, you have $350. Your spin, Caroline. Joker, France, and a triple. Take a, um, I'll take France for 200. Okay. This art museum in Paris houses such masterpieces as the Mona Lisa and the Venus de Milo. Name it. I the Louvre. The Louvre is right. You go to $300. You are spin out. Okay, come on, Joker. Let's see some Jokers. Three of them. Joker, One, two. U.S. Constitution. What's their line? Let's try what's their line for 100, Jack. What sport would you be watching if you saw John Montefusco work at his occupation? Jackie's a pitcher for the San Francisco Giants. You bet he is. Right, you got a part of fifty dollars and a good one. Your spin, Carla. U.S. Constitution, Joker, and a triple. I'll take U.S. Constitutions for two hundred, Jack. Your chance of bringing you to five hundred dollars and a possible win, but Hal does get a final turn. Thomas Jefferson was the principal author of the Declaration of Independence. For $500, which United States president is called the father of the Constitution? Um, John Hancock, no. No, nope, that is not correct. You'll pick up $650, add it to what you have now, you'll be winning $5,350. How about Adams, Jack? Listen, everybody out there, Adam Jefferson. Madison, that's who it is, Madison. You don't score, but you had $450 already, so you get another spin. Okay, come on, let's get a nice joker here. Famous pairs, joker, and what's their line? <sighs> let's try famous pairs for $50, Jack. Okay, you can do that, it's up there singly. Correct answer brings you to 500. Brings your total winnings to $5,250. Although these two brothers named Wilhelm and Jacob were serious scholars of the 19th century, 
They are most noted for their collection of fairy tales. For a grand total of $5,250, what's their last name? Are those the Brothers Grimm? Yes, for $5,250. Congratulations, Hal Fury. You've just won $5,250. And in just a moment, you'll get a chance to come over here and sing for the third time against the devil. Well, Caroline, I'm sorry to say that we have no big prizes for you. Thank You've you. You've been for a lovely me. contestant. Backstage will be some nice consolation prizes. So let's say goodbye to Caroline. Goodbye, Caroline. Thank you. And for you, Hal Fury, come on over and face the devil. Congratulations again. Thank you. That was a rough, that was a close spin there. Yeah. Must be my lucky suit. That's right. your lucky suit. We'll see if your lucky suit continues. Once again, you get a chance to beat the devil. That devil doesn't come up, and you get to $1,000. Not only will you get the money, but look at these windows next to me and see what else you get as a bonus. It's the Joker's Wild Home and Travel Package. First for your kitchen, Hal, your food will be stored in style with this three-door frost-free refrigerator with giant 21 cubic foot capacity, a seven-day meat keeper, and separate top freezer compartment for often-used items. From White Westinghouse, one of the white consolidated industries. Then for your living room or den, a pair of recliners, Action Mates, a recliner and matching swivel rocker with the same beautiful proportions and styling of conventional living room chairs. Action recliners furnished by Lane. An next you'll travel in style with luggage on core by Airway. Everything you've always wanted in casual luggage, beautiful, lightweight, durable, plus add a wheels for the ease of roll-along luggage. So, Hal, start packing because we're flying you to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico! Land of long, lavish beaches, ideal climate, beautiful countryside, and charming people. Sightsee among its legendary past and enjoy its exciting present. It's marvelous Mexico, a vacation you won't want to miss. And while there, you'll be staying at the exclusive Los Tulis Hotel, tennis club, and resort condominium development. Air conditioning, gourmet restaurants, swimming pool, and private beach set in 64 acres of lush, tropical gardens in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Los Tulis. And this home and travel package, Hal, is worth over $3,700 in cash and prices. All you gotta do is get to a thousand in the fifth. Let's get lucky like that. And the first spin gets you 175 and 150. 100, 200, 300, $325. If you stop, if you go on, you could lose it all. Want to have a go? No, I'm gonna go, Joe. Okay, risking 325. 175 and 25. It's over the halfway mark here at $525. Audience wants you to go. I'll listen to them. I'm going. Okay, risking 525. 100, 125, 150, 100. You and I are within striking distance. We have 800. Let's try one more, Jack. Here's know. where the lucky suit comes in. No devil, no devil. 25, 150, 975. Mm. Oh, come on, we'll go. Rub your lucky suit. Here we go. No devil, no devil. 75, 100. Congratulations, Al. And now I'm going to rub the lucky suit. $1,175, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,100, 1,150, 1,170, 1,175, plus all the gifts, the refrigerator, the rocker, the luggage, the trip to Puerto Vallarta. You are winning here at the end of your third game. $9,125. More to come after these words. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, he's working. Okay. You have to carry on with our program with Hal having won three games, going into game number four, and he meets this lady. We'll welcome now a homemaker who finds time to be a property manager, do a little writing, and go to school. Meet Donna Steinberg. Hi, Donna. Hello. 
Having once seen Donna, you would never forget her, and that's why I make mention of the fact that Donna was on one of our earlier programs way, way back. And every once in a while, as you know, we make a goof on the program, and perhaps it was unfair to Donna. And since we felt that way, as we always do, we brought her back to try again. So, Donna, nice to have you back on the Joker's Wild. Thank Wild. you very much, Jack. Do you like playing our game? I sure do. Very good. You know you have a lucky man next to you. I, uh, rubbing his shirt rubbing his, his coat. <laughs> Let's see if the love, luck runs off as I show you the categories we'll be using. The categories are the mystery category, take it, you'll get double, all about languages, the gay 90s, comedy trademarks, and the Middle East. Donna Steinberg's up first. Good luck. Give him a spin. Thank you, Jack. You get Middle East, comedy trademarks, and the gay 90s. I'd li <clears throat> like comedy trademarks, please, for 50. He came to prominence in the 60s, getting his jokes out of the daily newspapers. Called the thinking man's comedian, his trademark was a loose-fitting sweater. Who is he? Mort Saw. He's the one. Mort Saw, very fun man. $50. In your fourth game, House here, good luck. Okay, haven't seen three jokers. Let's see three jokers. Joker, one, two. Joker, all of our languages. You didn't well, rub your suit hard enough, Hal. <laughs> Let's try all about languages for 200, Jack. Fat Tuesday is the literal translation for a colorful celebration held in New Orleans every year. For $200, what is the more popular name for Fat Tuesday? Mardi Gras. Yes, right, for $200. Your spin, Donna Steinberg. <laughs> Middle East, comedy trademark, and a joker. I'll go for comedy trademarks for $100, please. This funny man rose to prominence a few years ago with the catch line, the devil made me do it. He should have been on this program, as a matter of <laughs> fact. He's the alter ego of Geraldine Jones. Name him. Flip Wilson. Flippo, yes, right. You have $150. And it's your spin, Hal. Well, we came close. Let's get three jokers this time. All of our languages, Joker and the gay 90s. Uh, Let's try all about languages again for 100, Jack. While an entire country may speak the same language, each city might speak a variation. What term is given to these language variations? Dialects, Jack. Right, you have $300. Floor, 150 to 300. Donna. Thank you. All about languages, a mystery category and a joker. I think I'll try the mystery category for 100. Because you're willing to try for 100? Of course, it is a mystery. We double it. We now play for 200. I have seven mystery, mystery categories in front of me. Which do you play? Number five. Number five is called Legend for $200. This king, about whom legends have been told for over a thousand years, proved himself heir to the throne when he pulled the magic sword Excalibur from a block of stone. Name the king. King Arthur. Right. You have $350. Your spin out. Okay. I'm keep asking three jokers. Let's see three jokers. Comedy trademarks, all about languages, and a joker. I'll take comedy trademarks for 100, Jack. Among this clown's many trademarks is his classic routine selling guzzler's gin. He signed off his television show with, Good night, and may God bless. Name him. I don't know. Is that Red Skelton? Red Skelton, right. Yes, you have $400. Score 350 to 400 And your spin, Donna. Middle East, comedy trademark, and a pair. I'll go 100 with comedy trademarks. He's called the Crabgrass Comic because much of his humor comes from his experiences living in the suburbs. He wrote the book, Help, I'm a Prisoner in a Chinese Bakery. Name him. Jack London. Nope. Jack. Sorry, that's not right. You'll pick up $100. You'll have $500. Add it to the winnings you had before. You're winning $9,525. What's his name? Could you please repeat that question, Jack, for me? He's called the Crabgrass Comic because his humor comes from experiences living in the suburbs. He wrote the book, Help, I'm a Prisoner in a Chinese Bakery. What's his name? I have no idea, Jack. Woody Allen. Nope. Alan King. <laughs> Alan King. Sorry, you don't score. Score remains 350 to 400. And it is your spin. Okay, let's Hal. come up with something. Jokers. Let's see some jokers. All about languages, mystery category, and gay 90s. Let's, uh... Let's take the mystery category, Jack. All right, that's the only one you could take, which would be $100 and might win you the game. Which category do you want? Let's go lucky seven, Jack. All right, it's called the art world. A correct answer on the art world would win you a grand total of $9,625. Name the sculptor whose most famous statue is called the thinker. Rodin. Right, for $9,625.
Congratulations, Hal Shearer. You won your fourth game. You're winning $9,625. And in a moment, you'll get a chance to spin against the devil. Will Dyer, they say twice is a charm, but apparently it didn't work this time. <laughs> I guess not. However, you flattered our program by having your lovely face appear here twice. Well, thank Backstage you. Backstage will be some consolation prize. Let's say goodbye to Donna Bye. Steinberg. And we'll be back right after these words. Our time is up. Hal Shearer will be back on the next program to play against the devil and to try his fifth game. Perhaps he'll win a car. Be with us on the next show. Congratulations. Some of our departed contestants will receive some of the following. Rain Dance Car Wax lasts longer than the leading car wax as water beating proves it. DuPont guarantees it. And wow, V8 Spicy Hot Vegetable Juice Cocktail. Its unique V8 flavor and spicy dip make it ideal as a mixer or zesty snack. Naturally low in calories, too. Wow, V8 Spicy Hot. Also, 20 mule team borax are natural for freshening and cleaning all the family wash. And it's handy for many household cleaning chores. Plus, rice aroni, the quick and easy side dish you saute and serve to flavor perfection. Rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. And off in convenient spray or soft towelettes to go just where you want them to. Off really works.